Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of division, how we can use objects to represent equal shares. This is standard 3.4H. In the great state of Texas, we are using item number 18 of the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause this video, work the problem out on your own, and then unpause it to check your answers. So we have a group of 27 students, and they are not pictured. So we're just going to have to imagine 27 students. They're playing a game with these hoops, and an equal number of students shared each hoop. So we have equal shares here. Whenever we see equal number, or whenever we see uh, maybe equal groups, then oftentimes this word each is also going to kind of give us a clue. It means what we're doing is we are partitioning. We are partitioning or we are dividing our 27 students equally because when we have equal groups and we have equal numbers, that means we're going to either multiply or divide because those two, multiplication and division, have to have equal groups. It doesn't work if five kids stand in one hoop and two kids stand in the other. You can, you can split up your kids that way, but that's not going to be represented by a division problem. So really what we have here is we have 27 students and they are going to be divided into, and we just have to count, we've got nine hoops and they're going to be divided equally. And so that is going to be represented by this number sentence here. Another way to think about it would be, well, we've got nine groups of how many students each are going to make the full 27 students. So. Most of you probably already know this fact, but if you don't, let me show you how you can do it without using uh, any multiplication facts or any division facts. We're just going to take our 27, and we're going to split them up equally in each hoop, and we're just going to kind of count out loud the 27, keeping track. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I'll use my first 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That's my second 9, and I think that's... Um, I think I'm going to be able to just get one more. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So I've used all 27. And how many students shared each hoop? Well, I've got 3. Most of you knew that was going to be 3. So we can say our answer is going to be F. Now, how did we get some of these other answers? Well, there's only one number that actually shows up in this problem, 27. If you look at this array and you're like, well, that's 9. That's 3 columns of 3 rows each. And so what can you do with 27 and 9? Well, there's a few things. We're not going to multiply. I mean, we could multiply, but that's not one of the answers choices, but when in doubt, add and subtract. And you're going to see our options here. So 9 and 7 is going to be 16. We're going to carry that. We're going to have 36. So that's where this J comes in right here, is we just decided to go ahead and add 27 and 9. If we wanted to subtract 27 and 9, Make sure we regroup. 7 minus 9 is not possible. Please don't say 2. We're going to have to regroup from this 2. We're going to leave one 10 left. Break up that other 10 into 10 ones. Now I've got 17 ones minus 9 ones. That's going to be 8 ones. And so here we go. There's my 18. That's column or that's answer selection G. And then finally, you see this H right here is just plain old 9. It means if you chose H, you didn't really know what to do, but you saw nine hoops, and you just figured that might be the answer. Now, that is probably not going to ever be the answer because nine hoops are being represented here, and a third grade star question would not ask you to count the number of hoops on the problem or on the screen. That would be much too easy. So our answer is going to be represented here by this uh, division sentence or this multiplication sentence. It is F. Three.